Fatal Familial Insomnia, Wikipedia Audio Fatal Familial Insomnia is an extremely rare autosomal dominant inherited prion disease of the brain. It is almost always caused by a mutation to the protein PRPC, but can also develop spontaneously in patients with a non-inherited mutation variant called sporadic fatal insomnia. FFI has no known cure and involves progressively worsening insomnia, which leads to hallucinations, delirium, confusional states like that of dementia, and eventually, death. The average survival time for patients diagnosed with FFI after the onset of symptoms is 18 months. The mutated protein, called PRPSC, has been found in just 40 families worldwide, affecting about 100 people, if only one parent has the gene, the offspring have a 50% risk of inheriting it and developing the disease. With onset usually around middle age, it is essential that a potential patient be tested if they wish to avoid passing FFI on to their children. The first recorded case was an Italian man, who died in Venice in 1765. The age of onset is variable, ranging from 18 to 60, with an average of 50. The disease can be detected prior to onset by genetic testing. Death usually occurs between 7 and 36 months from onset. The presentation of the disease varies considerably from person to person, even among patients from within the same family. Presentation The disease has four stages. Other symptoms include profuse sweating, pinpoint pupils, the sudden entrance into menopause for women and impotence for men, neck stiffness and elevation of blood pressure and heart rate. Constipation is common as well. As the disease progresses, the patient will become stuck in a state of pre-sleep limbo, or hypnagogia, which is the state just before sleep in healthy individuals. During these stages, it is common for patients to repeatedly move their limbs as if dreaming. Non-REM stages 1 and 2, light sleep and REM sleep, non-REM stage 3, deep slow wave sleep, REM sleep when memorable dreams occur. The first reported case in the Netherlands was of a 57-year-old man of Egyptian descent. The man came in with symptoms of double vision and progressive memory loss, and his family also noted he had recently become disoriented, paranoid, and confused. While he tended to fall asleep during random daily activities, he experienced vivid dreams and random muscular jerks during normal slow-wave sleep. After four months of these symptoms, he started having convulsions in the hands, trunk, and lower limbs while awake. The patient died at 58. An autopsy was completed which revealed mild atrophy of the frontal cortex and moderate atrophy of the thalamus. The atrophy of the thalamus is one of the most common signs of fatal familial insomnia. Normal sleep has different stages that together last 90 to 100 minutes. FFI patients cannot go past stage 1 and thus their brains are not getting the rest they need to revive, as most reviving and repairing processes of the body are believed to happen during these deeper sleep stages. Gene PRNP that provides instructions for making the prion protein PRPC is located on the short arm of chromosome 20 at position P13. Both FFI patients and those with familial Creutzfeldt Jakob disease carry a mutation at codon 178 of the prion protein gene. FFI is also invariably linked to the presence of the methionine codon at position 129 of the mutant allele, whereas FCJD is linked to the presence of the valine codon at that position. 
The disease is where there is a change of amino acid at position 178 when an asparagine is found instead of the normal aspartic acid. This has to be accompanied with a methionine at position 129. In late 1983, Italian neurologist slash sleep expert Dr. Ignazio Reuter received a patient at the University of Bologna Hospital Sleep Institute. The man, known only as Silvano, decided in a rare moment of consciousness to be recorded for future studies and to donate his brain for research in hopes of finding a cure for future victims. As of 2018, no cure or treatment has yet been found for FFI. Gene therapy has been thus far unsuccessful. While it is not currently possible to reverse the underlying illness, there is some evidence that treatments that focus solely upon the symptoms may improve quality of life. Schadler, J. Vitti, Laura Medical Mystery, When Sleep Doesn't Come Death does. ABC News, A Fee Fatal Familial Insomnia Families Association website. It has been proven that sleeping pills and barbiturates are unhelpful, on the contrary, in 74% of cases, they have been shown to worsen the clinical manifestations and hasten the course of the disease. One of the most notable cases is that of Michael Cork a music teacher from New Lenox, Illinois. He began to have trouble sleeping before his 40th birthday in 1991, following these first signs of insomnia, his health and state of mind quickly deteriorated as his condition worsened. Eventually, sleep became completely unattainable and he was soon admitted to University of Chicago Hospital with a misdiagnosis of clinical depression due to multiple sclerosis. Medical professionals Dr. Raymond Roos and Dr. Anthony Redder, at first unsure of the nature of his illness, initially diagnosed multiple sclerosis, in a bid to provide temporary relief in the later stages of the disease, physicians attempted to induce a coma with the use of sedatives to no avail as his brain still failed to shut down completely. Cork died in 1993, a month after his 42nd birthday, by which time he had been completely sleep-deprived for six months. Effect on Sleep One person was able to exceed the average survival time by nearly one year with various strategies, including vitamin therapy and meditation, using different stimulants and hypnotics, and even complete sensory deprivation in an attempt to induce sleep at night and increase alertness during the day. He managed to write a book and drive hundreds of miles in this time but nonetheless, over the course of his trials, the person succumbed to the classic four-stage progression of the illness. In 2009, a mouse model was made for FFI. These mice expressed a humanized version of the PRP protein that also contains the D178N FFI mutation. These mice appear to have progressively fewer and shorter periods of uninterrupted sleep, damage in the thalamus, and early deaths, similar to humans with FFI. As of 2016, Studies are investigating whether doxycycline may be able to slow or even prevent the development of the disease. It was reported in 1998 that there were 25 families in the world known to carry the gene for FFI, 8 German, 5 Italian, 4 American, 2 French, 2 Australian, 2 British, 1 Japanese, and 1 Austrian. In the Basque country there were 16 family cases of the 178N mutation between 1993 and 2005 related to two families whose common origin is located in the 18th century. In 2011, another family was added to the list when researchers found the first man in the Netherlands with FFI. While he had lived in the Netherlands for 19 years, 
he was of Egyptian descent. There are other prion diseases that are similar to FFI and could be related but are missing the D178N gene mutation. Only nine cases of sporadic fatal insomnia have ever been diagnosed as of July 2005. Unlike in FFI, SFI sufferers do not have the D178N mutation the in the PRNP prion gene, they all have a different mutation in the same gene causing methionine homozygosity at codon 129. There are other diseases involving the mammalian prion protein. Some are transmissible such as kuru, bovine spongiform encephalopathy in cows, and chronic wasting disease in American deer and American elk in some areas of the United States and Canada, as well as Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. Until recently, prion diseases were only thought to be transmissible via direct contact with infected tissue, such as from eating infected tissue, transfusion, or transplantation. New research now suggests that prion diseases can be transmitted via aerosols, but that the general public is not at risk of airborne infection. In an episode of Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, a witness to an attempted murder is dying of FFI, which was why he was out in the early morning hours. He had taken to wandering around the city, because he reasoned that if he couldn't sleep, he might as well occupy his time with something else. Cause Treatment In Rooster Teeth S Show Day 5, character Bill Beavers suffers from this disease. Epidemiology Related conditions In popular culture Notes In Some Things Killing Me with B.D. Wong November 2017, Family Curse, FFI is the topic. In the Lewis episode Falling Darkness, anger over inheriting FFI is the motivation for the murders. Bibliography <laughs>